Heroes and Legends, Future. The End of the Kichuru. A large military campaign had taken place after the Kichuru's failure to take the Milky Way. The Milky Way forces decided now was the time to take the Kichuru, and also the Scholar Circle forces were on their way to fight back up. Seeing that Kampi was in the dimensions, Kachu was right for the thinking. Only Johns and Marco were there. Patika Andrews was a brilliant soldier and leader. He led the front lines in his charge and cutting down many of the Kachu. Many of them fought and gave it all, but they were overwhelmed by the determined enemy. Johns and Marco fought on as the last of the leaders of Kichu. But the forces of the Milky Way were strong, as all of them were now united, Hilton's forces and Nemo. Francisco Alexander for his part decided to stay at Earth, for he vowed never leave Earth again, after he successfully defended it. And then, to the shock of horror, as Kichu was about to fall, Capri had speedily returned with his Mac and all hell broke loose. The armies of the Milky Way army was basically wiped out in an instant, only leaving the elite forces. Then the Skaloska forces had arrived as reinforcements with their tanks and max. Capri easily made do with these devices and scurried their leaders away. However, her host and Capri met. A host in his phone hand said, so Capri, fight me like a man. He's there fighting their map. Then Capri came out and said, A host, you still fight against your people. I never knew that Lord Macaulay saw in you. A host said, After Debbie died and seeing that our former Lord sided with the evil, I refuse to ever go back to Kichu. I believe it is our destiny for you and I to meet. The last disciples of our former Lord. Here in this hollow ground, we will end his legacy, once and for all. Capri then took out the javelin and pointed it at Bacal, pointed it at our host and said, For Kawayalo, for Kichu, and for your very soul. If I am to die here, I am bring you down with me. Then the two warriors clashed magnificently as the flown head clashed with the javelin of Capri. The two fall well as all over the place in the battlefield as flames and explosions from the destroyed rubble and debris and weapons was all around them. Those that were near fled for their lives as the power was intense. And as they went for their final clash, Capri and a host Clashed. The floor and head of our host collapsed. He went our host to come out of his shell and stood up. And Capri, in a stance, gazing back at our host and said, hmm. So this is this real? I have to fall. No one was able to destroy me. Only Kichuru. And that I am grateful. Capri collapsed as he was soundly defeated. And then our host then collapsed, knowing that his job was done. Then he cap, his friend, and the rest of Skolosko rallied against him, rallied around him, and tried to recover him, but it was too late. Our host was on death's door. He looked onto Mary and looked onto King Brian and said, My friends, my lord, I have served you well. You must survive and live on for tomorrow. Tell John Johnson, I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye in person. And then he died. King Brian lifted up his lance, made a solemn declaration, and vowed for vengeance. Although our militaries are greatly damaged, we have fulfilled a great victory. Kichuru is no more, and I vow I will avenge Sir host and end this war for his sake. Men! Listen to me. We aid 
Emperor Yui. Do not know you. They all cheered. I looked forward towards the final battle. The end of this war was about to begin. <laughs>